Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Forza 5 Drift build. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, so I have to get back into them. I've gotten a few requests to do different cars. Uh, as you can see, I'm down to only about 170,000 credits, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get all these cars done uh, with that amount of credits. But we'll see. Uh, today we're doing the 350Z, and uh, let's see what engine we can put in it first. Um, what is this? The V8 and I6. We're already at 207, eight, 287 horsepower, so I'm fairly certain that will be good. Um, now to save money, I just reset this car to default. Um, so I already have like quite a few parts bought uh, for this car. I'm not really sure. Really? There's no body kits for the 350Z. Really turn 10. Okay. Well. Um, that is disappointing to say the least. We'll go ahead and not touch anything on the, uh, on the body there. I never actually looked for a body kit on this car until now. And, um, yeah, I'm disappointed. I can't believe there's no body kits for a 350Z. Like, really? Um, you know what? Maybe some of these wheels here. Uh, yes, right there. Maybe those. Nah. Let's go with the BBS RS GTs. I think they look pretty good. And uh, what what are wheel size do we have? We can go up to 18. Um, let's run 17 in the front, 18 in the back. There we go. Looking good. And, um, now let's upgrade all this. I guess there's no differential, is there? Oh, there's a differential. We're missing the drive shaft, I think. I think that's what we're missing. Not entirely sure. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, throw the differential on, and uh, let's put some bigger brakes. Oh yeah, those look nice through the BBSs. Lower it as far as we can. And this game sucks for upgrading. So slow. I was playing Forza 4 yesterday, and I, I flew through an upgrade in like 30 seconds. All the engine upgrades. It's crazy. You'd think they'd, they'd try and keep something like that the same especially since it's a new system you think it'd be able to go even quicker although I don't know I don't know if Forza 3 and Forza 2 were like that I haven't played those in in a while now um, so I guess I could go back to that maybe maybe do some videos on Forza 2 and 3 later more likely Forza 2 because that was uh, much better in my opinion uh, you can do some crazy things to your cars in that game. And it's slowing down again. Not entirely sure why. If the Xbox One could tell me, that'd be great. Oh, we're at 488 if we go up to that. Let's do that. Um, intercooler, oil cooler, and then that's probably going to be it. Oh, we're almost at 500 foot-pounds of torque. Let's bring the torque up above 500. There we go. Let's just throw that on. And uh, there we go. That should be about it. I'm going to stop recording here, come back, and uh, tune it. Alright guys, so let's hop into the tuning here. Um, if it would save, thank you. So let's drop that down. Lengthen the gears out a little bit. I haven't even tried it out, but uh, the longer the better, right? Um, okay, 1.5, 2.5, bring that up to 6, stiffen everything up please, thank you. I don't know, maybe one of these times I should just go do some some crazy sort of build that no one's expecting and make everything as high and as soft as I possibly can. 
I think that'd be pretty fun to do. I don't know, maybe I'll do that after I finish up all these uh, car requests I have. That'd be a pretty, pretty fun time to do. Or, not fun time to do, but pretty fun thing to do. Um, now let's hop into the paint here. I really wish there was body kits. It just looks so... I mean, the stock car doesn't look bad. But it would look so much better with a body kit. Um, so should we... I know what I'm going to do. Here we go. And then I'm going to have to go into my vinyl editor for a second. And just throw something really quick on. Should we go full white or... Let's go black. And there we go. Oh, whoops, I accidentally went into that. Apply to the car, and then we're going to hop into the vinyl editor and uh, do some crazy vinyls. It's going to be insane. Why does it take so long to save? Come on, it's an advanced new, new revolution Xbox One. It should be uh, quick, not slow. Um, let's throw a... where... here. Let's do this in red. There we go. Now this is gonna have to be extended quite a bit. I want it to start right from the edge of the bonnet. There we go. Now let's move it up farther. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's just a random little touch to make it look different than all the other cars I've done. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty terrible at doing uh, designs on Forza. I suck with this editor. Uh, I always have. And uh, my designs never quite look the way I want them to. But uh, we're going to head over to the track now, and I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the track. We've got our nice looking 350Z here, and uh, we brought it to Road Atlanta. I uh, haven't been drifting on Forza in, in quite some time now. So it's going to take a little bit to get used to. And then this track is fairly... is Well, it's not fairly. It, it's a pretty small track in terms of width. So it's not going to be too forgiving if I, if I mess up a drift. I'm usually going to probably going to a wall, right? That's what I'm guessing anyway. Oh, come on. And there's that wall. Yeah. We uh we got a surprised looking 350Z now. Looks great. Uh yeah, but I've been playing GTA this past few days and uh some more computer games. So I'm not really that used to drifting on Forza 4 right, or Forza 5. Forza 5 right now. Um we could go for a 3 360 entry like I did in my 240 rebuild video. Nope, gonna screw the yeah, there's that tire wall. <laughs> Why is that there? I mean it doesn't make sense for that to be there in my mind. I don't know. Maybe there's like a wall behind it that would kill people if if you crashed into it. Like the, one of those NASCAR tracks. I forget which track that is, but Yeah, there's that skinny track again. I don't know if it's just the 350Z or cuz I'm not used to drifting yet in this game that I'm going off the track so much. But I was just drifting around with my 240 uh, before this little bit. And I was uh, I was doing pretty hard pretty hard. I was doing pretty bad there as well. Which sucks. I probably should have got more used to drifting before I did a drift build. That would make more sense. Okay, I completely screwed up the chicane. I wonder if the Formula D section, if they removed the, uh... Slow no, they 
they did not remove the slowdown area. I was going to say, maybe they removed the slowdown area. Maybe they listened. No. Unfortunately, they did not. It'd be good to remove that, though, turn 10. If you could. That'd be great. Have some more fun on online. Uh, unfortunately, there is no replays online. So if you could go ahead and add that in, too. You know, that'd be that'd be pretty great. Uh, then I could make some better videos with tandems and stuff like that. Um, because I do not record with the capture card. I record with uh, the Xbox. Because uh, my, my HD PVR1 does not record HDMI and the Xbox One only came with HDMI. Which is pretty stupid. I kind of wish it would have came with components because then I wouldn't have to... Okay. Then I wouldn't have had to uh, go and spend some of my money I'm saving towards a car on a uh, HD PVR2. Um, so until I decide to do that, I don't know, I haven't decided uh, if I want to spend money that I'm putting towards a car on an HD PVR. <laughs> wow. I don't know why I can't get that. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Kind of seems like it's spinning too slowly. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if I decide that I want to take money away from the car that I'm saving up for, uh, and put it towards an HD PVR2, then I could do that. But that's like a whole. That's like two weeks of work for one, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I might do it. It's not that hard to just take it from the Xbox and put it all into one video, but it is kind of crappy for having to uh, constantly stop recording and stuff like that. Um, speaking of which, my five minutes is almost up, so this drift car has been all right. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and also comment below on which car you'd like to see next.